To remove your shifter, locate your quarter inch Allen wrench or Allen socket. In this case, we're gonna put in our 3 8 ratchet. Before you take it off of there, um, you may want to put a mark on it. That way you can remember where it was. So uh, I'm gonna put a mark on here at 12 o'clock. And uh, you probably can't see on camera a little bit, but I can see the black mark on top of the black finish on there. Take this quarter inch Allen here, get your ratchet to work properly. Break that bolt free. Then spin her all the way on out of there. You have to take the bolt all the way out to get it off of there. Or, I'm sorry, to get the shifter off. That was kind of a redundant statement. Because there's a little notch in here. So, if all is well and good, you should be able to just grab the shifter and pull it off towards you. It has a spline shaft on it. Let's say it doesn't move that easy. You can possibly get behind it with a big screwdriver here, risk scratching your primary cover, or you can get in here with a large screwdriver and twist it a little bit in this C clamp portion. We'll open up a little bit and hopefully it'll slide right off of there. But if now would be the time, if you want to change your angle of where your toe is, you can move it down a notch. Start with, that's where it was. You go up one notch, which may be easier to get your big honking boots under there. Or you can go down a notch Make it easy to get your tiny little toes up on top. Whatever works for you. Then once you get it back on there in place where you want it, reinstall your bolt and torque it to spec. 